Hi everyone. We are almost done with using Microsoft PowerPoint, but I wanted to have you learn one final thing just for something fun to do. Um, you all know what animated GIF files are, right? You see them on the internet. It's an image that has some simple animation to it. And there are all kinds of sites and all programs that you can download to create animated GIFs. But one of the things that I wanted to show you is how you can actually use PowerPoint to really simplify making an animated GIF. So if you can take a look at the screen, I'm going to create a new presentation. And what I'm going to do right now is change my layout to a blank slide layout. And then I am just going to duplicate the slide. Notice how instead of adding a new slide, I just right click and choose duplicate slide. Then I can save myself the time of um, trying to change my layout. I've just selected both of those slides and now I'm going to do the same thing. Duplicate slide. And I'm going to do it one more time. Duplicate slide. So I have eight blank light layouts right now. So what I'm going to do is just to show you. So I'm going to add a shape. And because it's Valentine's Day tomorrow, I'm going to add a heart. A little bitty little heart. And I'm going to go under the uh, Format tab and I'm going to make it red with a white outline. Oh, white, not white. Let me change that. I'll go with a pink outline. Okay, now what I'm going to do is uh, go to my next slide and I'm going to add another heart. Make it a little bigger. Make this one pink with a red outline. New slide. And I'm going to continue making hearts. Make that one pink. The red outline. Okay, so what I have done is finished making my other hearts. Just to save a little bit of time, I have all eight on a slide, each on a different slide. And now I'm going to save my file. But instead of saving it as a regular PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to choose Save as Type, and I'm going to change it to GIF, Graphics Interchange Format. And I'm going to give it a name, and I'm just going to call it Animation. When I go to Save, it's going to ask me if I want to export all the slides or each one. All slides or just one. And I'm going to choose All Slides. So I'm going to click that button. It, you'll notice what it does. It created a folder. I click OK. And now I'm all set. Now if I were to actually go into my, let's see, Documents folder, I believe it saved it in. Animation right here. Here are all my eight slides. So now what I'm going to do is go online and use an animated GIF maker. And I like the website gifmaker.me, but there are some different ones available. And all I'm going to do here is choose Upload Images. And I need to find the folder that I just created, Animation, right there. And I'm just going to use Control-A to select all the slides and click Open. You can watch it on the screen. On the right hand side I have my preview panel. You can see what it'll do. I can change the size of it. I can change the speed of it if I'd like to. 
I can choose how many times to repeat it and if I leave it at zero it'll continue repeating. When I'm all finished I'm going to click create GIF animation and now that it's done I have some different options. I can view it, I can download it, and there are some other things as well. So I'm just going to choose download. There it is down in my status bar, output with a random name to it. I'm going to click on that, open it up. Because it's an animation it might have a little bit of a delay before it displays it. And there's my animation.